trying some new video settings, so we may have to end this stream and start over a few times so I can check stuff and get it right, but hopefully it will just work and we'll be good to go. In the last episode we were... what did we do? We finished exploring the Hebra Mountain region, and we went down and activated the tower in... I can't remember what it's called... The... <laughs> you know what I... Tabantha something. Tabantha field, maybe? <laughs> Anyways, we got the map. And today we are going to go explore around that area. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, when I turn on this live screen, things will go smoothly and we won't have to end the stream. We can just get into it because I'm very excited to be out of the snow and I'll be able to walk at a normal speed and we will work our way back up and I see another divine beast in the sky for us to fight so that is pretty exciting. So with all of that said, let's make an attempt to get into the game. All right, so as I said, I did change some video settings and I'm not sure if it's going to work out well or not because my recordings are enormous and I was talking to one of my friends and he gave me some advice on how to make those file sizes smaller but when we tested it, it was a little bit choppy so hopefully it will look smooth and good uh, let's eat something before we get going here I don't know, do I have any small food on me? I guess we could use some of this stuff. Um, I don't think we need that in this region. We could have movement boost. Oh, sweet speed, return to me. All right, and so while I was testing this with my buddy, I did see over here somewhere a closed fairy fountain. See if I can spot it again, and we'll fly down to it. Where was it? Um, I was just jumping off this tower and flying in circles. There are a ton of- there it is. See it? Right over there. Which I wish I would have discovered it on stream, but that's okay. I didn't go activate it. So we didn't miss much. A lot of luminous stone over here. I'm so excited to explore this place. Look at all these shrines! Maybe something on that little rock up rock outcropping too. Alright. Let's grab this beautiful luminous stone. I need to turn my headphones up just a bit. I could barely hear the game. Seems like it's really quiet on the stream as well. I didn't change any audio settings though. 
and I believe I should put on my sneaky clothes if I can wear them. It was a little too cold up on the tower, so I had to wear my cold shirt. This should be okay now. So I'd like to grab some fairies while we're over here. It looks pretty smooth. I think it's gonna work okay. Um, whoever's in the chat right now, if you happen to notice that it seems really choppy or bad quality on the video, please let me know. Because I don't want to go through a bunch of story stuff with unusable footage. Alright, let's see. What do we get? wonder how much she's gonna charge us. Can't reach it. A lot of thistles. Any carrots or anything in this one? Silent princess. Nice, nice, nice. This down here looks kind of ominous. Oh, look! The carrots. Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder if there's one more. Seems like in most of the places there are three of them. There, gotcha. Is there another one back behind these rocks? Anything? Anything? Can I get this one now? Yeah! There we go. Alright, let's see what she says! Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. Uh, <laughs> what happens if I say I'll pass? Um, I'm feeling that run today. Nah, we'll do it, sure. I am the great fairy, Kesa. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, Fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is one thousand rupees. Is that more or less than the last one? I can't remember. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over. Quickly! In order for me to regain my power, I need 1,000 rupees. Here you go! Swipe! Thank you, you are. Too kind. Ah, the power! It's all the <laughs> So scammy. I wonder if it'll be another horse fairy or something. Aww. What? It's a regular one! All those jewels, they're really hurting for money, huh? Hmm, so you're the one who brought me back from the brink. Oh my, I see now that my first impression of you was correct. You must definitely are pleasant to look at. Would you like to live here with me? Hmm, I think I would drown. I can't breathe water. I'm kidding, of course. But you certainly are cute when you're blushing. I really can't thank you enough, boy. But that won't stop me from trying. My goodness, the fairies are flirtatious. If you have the materials needed to enhance a piece of clothing, I'll enhance your clothes. So, why don't you let me take a little peek in that little pouch of yours? Uh? Power available to me, I greatly enhance your clothing. Woohoo! Enhance away! So, 
Have you picked out which clothes you'd like me to enhance? We need two shards of Nadra's horn, which are quite hard to get. Oh, we could do the hood. We could do the tunic. We'll do as much of this as we can. Ooh, we'll have to get more smother wing butterflies for these, I guess. And probably more Lizalfus tails. I've been using them in potions. I definitely want to do these ones. <laughs> My favorite clothing. Uh, hot footed frogs. The climber stuff. Hmm, we can do some of this, but not all of it. And we only got the leg wraps, which means we must have missed a lot in the last area. Because typically I've found a full set in one place. I suppose we could go ahead and upgrade them, but I'm gonna start with full sets. And I'm gonna start with my sneaky clothes. Hmm? Let me turn out your stealth lights, yeah? Yes, please. Mm. Got it. Close your eyes. <laughs> Link, I'm sorry. Oh, she's the most forward of the fairies so far. And there we go. You should be able to feel the care put into that. It radiates off those clothes. Have you got other clothes you'd like me to work my magic on? We'll do the fairy uh, cutscene mm -hmm. for these three pieces of clothing, and then I'm gonna skip it. Mm -hmm. I wanna see if she'll, she has another animation. Does it seem like a, the last one had two animations? Or no, the same animation, but Link reacted in two different uh. ways. And if she has... If there's an extra animation, I would like to see it. <laughs> really? Probably afraid he's gonna get smashed by her giant face. Alright, let's get the rest of this stuff enhanced. And then I probably should get out my notebook mm. and write down all of the stuff I need. So we can go track it down as we explore. I... My pen out. Oops. Ah. Uh. Mm. Wearing climbing clothes in this area. So there are so many. Whoops, I forgot to skip it. There are so many crags and cliffs and little plateaus and rock formation. However, <laughs> what are those, anyways? They're here. Uh, oh, we can't do it, anyways. We need more frogs. Ah. Uh. I wonder if we'll find any frogs in this area. I... I kind of wish there were a faster way to go about doing this. Mm. Like just select all of the ones you want to. Uh. There are. I should lean up and look at the bot. The bottom of my screen is obscured by the switch, so I can't always see where it says, like, press X to skip or whatever. <laughs> Let me see if there's a select button down there. Mm. Hmm. Oh, not really. I'm not really sure what is the point of the Hylian trousers. I don't think we ever wear those. 
But just in case we need them, I will upgrade everything I can. Mm. Uh. And at some point as we continue through this game, if it seems like we're not finding complete armor sets, I'm going to Google where to find them because I, I... I'm, as an, I'm not a completionist, but I do want complete armor sets. Like, I have two pieces of the electricity stuff, and I want the full set, mm -hmm. and I have one barbarian mm -hmm. tights or something, and I would like the full set. going to be able to do all of these and we're not going to be able to do all of the guardian stuff so I think we're nearly finished maybe two more pieces and then I'll write down what I need Whew, it takes a lot of ancient cores I'm sure they'll get more expensive as we go I wonder if I do this if it ruins the... Let me think about what I want to say. I wonder if I do this if it ruins the upgrade you get off of the clothes. Like, if this uh, sneaky bonus goes away for a full set. Set bonus, that's what it's called. Oh no, it won't tell me, will it? Will it? Yeah, it will. Okay. This can't be enhanced. Alright, what do I need? Ancient shaft. I should do this off stream, I'm sorry. Ancient core. Just write down the ratios. This one we will enhance. Hot footed frog. We need five, ten, fifteen, I think. No, more than that. Eh, still tights are upgraded, the graves are upgraded. Alright, smother winged butterflies, I think we need six. I think we can buy those from Beetle. Rubber Helm, Yellow Lizalfa's Tail. I don't know if I've had any of those. A Shard of Nadra's Horn. That's going to be tough to get. And that's it, I think. I'll do this mm. one. Mm. Good thing I haven't been using the Lionel parts. <sighs> Hooray! I want to put these on and see what they look like. I bet he looks really cute in them. Oh, I just remembered. 
There are some items in the world that, when enhanced twice and worn as a set, can give you a nice set bonus. Only some items, though. No promises. Have you got other clothes you'd like me to work my magic on? Uh. I can feel it. My sister's powers have not yet been restored. Young man, if you meet them, would you please help them? Consider it a special request from me. Take care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, we did it. Now, let's take a look at our map. Uh, maybe we'll mark this down. Like right here with a star. Man, I'm really running out of stamps. Alright, so I have been doing south and north and that's been treating me pretty well. And while I really want to go to Rito Village and the stable because I saw a lot of people there to talk to, I think instead I... Mm, I was going to say I'd try to go all the way down here and start from the bottom. I wish there was a, sh a shrine to teleport to down there. Let's do it anyways though. Let's see if we can just get up high and glide down or g run through this maybe. I was curious what would be down here. Ooh, look at me, I'm fast. Oh, this is so luxurious. <laughs> so nice. After running so slowly, it's like the best thing ever. What's that? Oh no! Okay, well, we're not gonna do that then. <laughs> I barely spotted that in time. We need to find a goddess statue because I have a ton of spirit orbs right now. Alright, so I'm assuming since we saw that we're going to run into a lot more guardians in this area. Let's point ourselves south and head over there. We'll go this way first so we don't have to deal with those fools. Here we go. I just want to get down to the bottom of the map if I can. Well, the bottom of this map section anyways. Because that's been going pretty good for me to work my way up. Don't shoot me out of the air, please. I'm going to go climb this and get a little higher. I guess climbing clothes would be good for this, but I think we'll be fine anyways. We have a lot of stamina. Look at that. Look at those red rocks. So beautiful. Ooh, I don't know if we can stand here or not. try. Okay. Just barely. Look at his ankles. Poor Link. Alright, so we're basically at the bottom. But I'd like to go all the way down here. So let's see if we can go here. Trying to look down here to see if there's anything. It's like a big crevasse. I wonder if that one, if we try to go in it, if it would let us or if it would kill us again. Flina? Come on, wolves. I'm trying to get them the stuff. All these wolves are scaredy cats anyways. They just run away. Winterwing butterfly. 
I have a feeling they won't let you go over there. They'll probably say it's too hot. Let's try it though. I mean, we've got that fire armor, but I don't know if that works for heat. <laughs> It seems to me like this is the area they said I couldn't go into last time. No, I'm here. This isn't it. It was down here. Alright, well, let's go back to where we were then. Alright, so we'll check these lower elevations. I think I see a cork thing over here. And we should check the windmills, maybe? Can we get up there in time? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you found me! Bye bye! Goodbye! So, oh no, it's raining! That's one thing I didn't miss in the snowy region. Oh. What was that? Ah, poop. Let's shoot this. I think it's probably for a Korok. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you found me. We're not too far off from... I think we only needed 45 to get another inventory slot from Hestia. Oh look, we can be in the base down here. Well, maybe we should look around here as well. A lot of wolves. I suppose we're technically off the map. Any more Korok things? Oh man, look at that view! It's so cool! Well, it stopped raining, that's great. Let's go back up here. I guess I should put my climbing clothes on for this. <clears throat> See if I can do like gentle slopes I can walk up a little bit. Yeah, we probably should put the climbing clothes back on. I think we're gonna be wearing them a lot over here. Whoa, look at that. I can't wait to go over there. It's so pretty. Here's a cork thing. We can do this. A lot of- there are a lot of them around here. Yeah. 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 Haha, you found me! Bye -bye. Goodbye. Alright, let's put our climbing clothes back on. Oops, that's not what I need. Actually, yeah, let me look at the map real quick. I... I do want to look over here before I go up there, actually. It seems like it's off the map, though. Must, must be a slightly higher elevation. Look at that sun. This looks like such an arid place. Is this path? <clears throat> There's something over there. A little fox.
Wait, what's it called? Rain Highlands. Oh, you know what we can do now? <gasps> Speedy potions. Yes, please. Oh, sweet speed. And nobody elemental is kicking our butt yet. It's so nice. There's something over here. There's a little fight we can do. That should be fun. Ooh, it's this big pit. I have a feeling this is stasis, but just in case. Should I change my weapon? Maybe one of these clubs? Kale Shrine. Any little Korok hiding behind it? Nope. Alright, here we go. What will this one be? Ooh, puzzle? To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Ka Okeo. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Wind guide. Any monsters? Oh no, do I need a leaf to blow that? I hope there's one in here. Okay, good. We need that. <laughs> I was just thinking, I haven't even seen any trees around. There's something in there. Balloons on a bomb? You probably have to blow it into something. Alright, here we go. This seems like a fun puzzle. Well, if you face the right way. Oh no! <laughs> okay. That's fun! <gasps> what are you doing? Can I just push it? Oh dear. I've destroyed it. Disappointing. Well, I have bomb arrows, so hopefully I can still do whatever I'm supposed to do. These are so cute! Little balloons. Alright. Uh, let's see. There's a fire, there's a bunch of guardians. There's this thing. Can they see me? I'm not sure if they can get from me from here though. Alright, so I need to not destroy it this time. Hmm. Wonder how you're supposed to get over to that one. Let's fight then. Wow, 
Why are you messed up? Wonder what happened to this one. Alright, well I would like all of these weapons. Do I have anything I'm willing to leave for them? Hmm... Maybe the... Ice wand? Well... I don't know. I wish I had more weapon slots. Um... I guess I could get rid of the spear. What do we got? A sword? A sword. A sword. I would have to get- I guess I could get rid of a club? I have two of them. And I guess I could get rid of- what else would I get rid of? Maybe we take one guardian sword and see like which one has the best status effect on it? Durability is good. Yeah, I'd rather have durability. Alright, I guess we'll just take one. Um, we have quite a bit of guardian stuff on us. And I'm not seeing it, excuse me, seeing anything that's almost broken, so I guess we'll go with that. I wonder what's down there. It's just a pit? Hmm. I wonder what the bomb on the balloons was for. Ah! <laughs> ah, it was worth a shot. I thought maybe I could glide over there. Because if I send a bomb, I don't think a bomb would explode this metal floor. <laughs> ah, poop. How's it going? Hmm. Nice to see you again. I'm doing okay. I feel like I've messed this up a little bit. <laughs> I might need to start this one over. <laughs> I'm a cheating god. As long as I don't fall off, this should work. Maybe not. I want to get the chest, but maybe we should just go over here. This is so cool. Hmm, I'm not sure if it's worth going back for the chest. I've got full weapons anyways. If I do, I'm just going to agonize about like, oh, what do I leave behind? So we will just leave it alone. Ooh, 
Rupee. I expect to run into some more guardians. It really seems like these shrines are getting longer, too. Yep. Hello. <laughs> This one's much longer. Okay, I think this is gonna activate this. Whoa, look at all the spikes. Oh my gosh, there's so much more to this than I thought there would be. Alright, let's get this chest. Since we can. A forest dweller sword. Corx made this sword for Hylians. It's made of wood, so it isn't the best choice for head-on attacks. Its original intent was likely clearing vines to forge paths through forests. Do I need it, I wonder? If I don't need it for this puzzle, I'm not gonna go get it. time. I'll probably be here for a while. Hey, nice. Is there anything behind this? No. Wait, here we go. Spikes make me a little bit nervous. They don't start moving around, but I think maybe it's just so you don't have an easy surface to land on. You have to plan your path more carefully. <laughs> Unless if you blow this, it makes them just move and shove you off of the earth. Let's do this a little carefully. Welcome back. What are you up to today? Anything fun? <laughs> oh, I see what they're for. Ooh, this is gonna be difficult. Nothing today? Well, that's all right. It's good to have a lazy day sometimes. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Oh no! <laughs> oh man! Can I get it over here? Oof! Oh, that was a close one. I think I'm gonna end up in this void at least one time. I'm probably not gonna do too much today either. I'm gonna do this stream and then maybe cook something? No wait, no I'm not. I made a pizza. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do then. Maybe some chores, maybe some cleaning. Change the sheets or something. So will this come back to me or... If I blow like this, will it come over here? Whoops. There, that's good to know. Um, is it worth going to get the chest? I don't know, maybe not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Alright, let's try this again. I can't believe I can't get on this thing! Alright, 
Let's try it like this. Okay, so maybe we'll go this way. And then maybe we'll go this way. I'm gonna lose a balloon, huh? Come on, Link! No, 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 no! Oh, no! Come on, come on! Woo! Okay. I heard a balloon pop. Oh, thank goodness it's not another balloon thing. Those are so clever, but I find them a little bit frustrating. What's up there? Something up there, I bet. Um, do I want to go up there? Oh wait, can I just blow this up? It sure looks like it. Whoa! Ah, wonderful. Okay. <laughs> that will be much less frustrating if I mess up. Alright, we'll try it then. Because this should almost certainly get us back over here if... I Sorry, Link. A small key. All right. Was there anything on this platform? It goes over there. Um, I think that might be the way out. I kind of want to see what's over here that I didn't look at. Wow, there are a lot of chests in this one. What does this do? Isn't that the room I was just in? I'm so confused. I don't understand. Let's just leave. <laughs> Unless there was something in there, where we, in there that we needed. But I don't think so. I think all we needed was the key. What is my favorite drink? My favorite drink... Hmm... What is my favorite drink? My favorite soda is Dr. Pepper. My favorite drink... Period... I'm not sure. I really like tea. I drink a lot of flavored teas. Like, tea zones? Like, um... Herbal teas and stuff? I love mint tea is maybe my favorite drink of all time. Like cold, iced, sweet mint tea. Oh, your resourcefulness and overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. My favorite alcoholic drink is probably like a white beer or a gin and tonic. But I don't drink a lot of liquor, so I don't know too many, like, common alcohol, like, uh, how do I say that? Like, alcoholic drinks, like, liquor, like, mixed drinks, that's what they're called, like, cocktails. I don't know too many of them. 
Yours is Big Red. I've had Big Red before. It's pretty good. It stains your lips really bad when you're a little kid. May the goddess smile upon you. There's nothing like a huge glass of cold water in the summer, though. That really can hit the spot. I just actually made some lemonade from scratch yesterday and it is fantastic i was gonna have that while i streamed but i had just brushed my teeth and that didn't sound too good lemonade and toothpaste sounds like a pretty disgusting that's good music sounds like a pretty gross combination to me so i went with water instead i'm not a big coffee drinker but i do like on occasion those like sweet coffee drinks, like a frappuccino or a cappuccino or something like that. But I think... Hmm. <laughs> the prob that question probably wasn't meant to be a big thinker, but you got me really thinking about, like, what what is my favorite drink? I don't know. I bet it's mint, like, sweet iced mint tea. It's probably the thing I make and drink the most. And I, I could make a picture, a pitch, a whole picture of sweet tea, like sweet iced tea, iced mint, sweet iced mint tea right now, and I pretty much guarantee it will be gone by the end of the day. Your mom won't let you have coffee. And it's probably a smart choice. Coffee could stain your tea. It might make you really hyper. Have you ever tasted coffee? Most people think it's kind of bitter. You might not even like it. I, I've never been a really big coffee drinker. My dad and my brother both are. Oh no. Um, I tried drinking coffee at my last job. I had to get up really early in the morning at like, what, like five or something? And it was hard for me because I'm not much of a morning person. So I started trying to drink coffee. I had one day where I drank a coffee, and I, I really like bitter flavors, so I would brew my coffee like really strong and let it brew for way too long. And I've had like just terrible, terrible caffeine overdose is not the right word, but like it's just too strong, it's too much caffeine. And so I felt like really bad for an entire day almost. like probably like 12 hours, it was like the whole work day, I just felt awful. I was like jittery and nervous and it felt like it's just too, oh, I just felt bad. And so I just totally swore off coffee for a very long time after that. I also have too much energy. I have ADHD, like for real, diagnosed. I take medication for it. So <laughs> I probably don't need any extra energy. If anything, I need to calm down a little bit. Uh, Royal Broadsword, those are my favorite. Maybe I'll trade the leaf for that. And actually, after I had that bad day, that bad coffee day, I swore off all caffeine for quite a while, like for like a year, I think. I just stopped drinking caffeine, like, well, oh, that was terrible, I don't want to do that anymore. But I drink it again now, just not, not as much as I used to, because I used to drink tons of soda, I drink soda every day, like, at least once a day and now i just have it i don't know maybe once a month twice a month some months i don't have it at all it works pretty good for me big big red is caffeine free isn't it <laughs> oh you know what other drink i really like there's these little donut shops around where I live, and you can go and get a uh, boba tea, which I don't really like the boba, but I love... They have... Uh-oh, my controller disconnected. They have a mango drink powder, which I'm sure has way more sugar in it than one person needs to drink. Not mango, I'm sorry, honeydew. Honeydew melon boba tea, but I get it without the boba because I don't really like the tapioca. Oh man, that stuff tastes good. I actually just ordered some of that on Amazon and I hope it tastes as good as it does in the donut shop. 
because it is hot over here right now and I would love to have a nice big melon smoothie. When I was a little kid, my favorite thing was Mountain Dew. I used to drink tons of that. But I had it as an adult. It doesn't taste very good to me anymore. I still really like Dr. Pepper, though. That's my go-to if I'm going to have soda. Either Dr. Pepper or, like, off-brand Dr. Pepper. I don't mind having off-brand at all. I used to as a kid, but it doesn't bother me now. Ooh! Didn't wrong. I don't think we can get over there in time to get a scale. What time is it? 6.50? Right here is a good place to stay. So majestic. You like Mountain Dew? It just doesn't taste the same as it used to when I was a kid anymore. There must be a core thing around here for these metal balls. Is it up here? There's some gems. Oh wait, maybe that's it right there? Is that a hole? Oh, that might be the hole where the shrine was. Mm, I don't know. Hello, little wolf. Oh, don't bark at me. You're fine. I'm leaving. You're a huge fan of La Croix? I tried it once and I did not care for it at all. One of my friends likes it a lot. Which flavor do you like, Golem? I want to try one of those sparkling alcohol drinks they have now. I don't... What are they called? I don't even know. It's like a sp sparkling... It's not sparkling wine. It comes in a can, like a beer. Like a La Croix or something. And it has alcohol in it. Everybody says it tastes amazing. I want to try one. I just had... Um, I buy a lot of, most of my stuff from Aldi, and I had sparkling lemonade from there. That was incredible. Sparkling lemonade and sparkling pink lemonade. It was a non-alcoholic drink, though. Just, just, uh, just sparkling lemonade. Just fizzy. Delicious. Hmm, I don't see anywhere to put those metal things, so maybe they were just there for creative monster fighting. Uh, key lime is the most, and passion fruit is a close second. I've never tried passion fruit anything. Not the fruit or anything flavored passion fruit. I want to try one. I have to see if if I can remember if I can order a, like a single can from the grocery store. I'll try it. That sounds good. Well, actually, I guess I don't know if it sounds good because I've never had passion fruit before. But I love trying new fruits and new foods and things. You don't like fruit? You don't like fruit? Really? No fruit at all? Not mangoes or apples or kiwis or anything? Bananas? I love fruit. Yesterday, or the day before, I can't remember. Whenever I got, this day after I got my last grocery order, I had the best mango I've ever eaten in my entire life. Yeah, yeah you found me. I was like, I'm gonna cut up a little bit of mango to eat after dinner for dessert. And it was so good. Me and my dog ate the whole entire mango. It was amazing. And then I pulled the seed out of it, and I'm like, Ooh, I hope you make me a tree and grow me some more mangoes, because that was so good. It tasted like candy. Yeah! How are you and like eating at my house? I eat tons of fruit. When I go grocery shopping, most of my stuff is fruits and vegetables. 
Uh, hard Seltzy, that's what it's called. Thank you. I'm off my game today. My brain's not working. The most popular ones you know are Truly and White Call. Have you tried either of them, or they, do you think they're good? I just have a hard time imagining, like, seltzer, flavored seltzer water with alcohol in it not tasting just, like, a bunch of just alcohol. It doesn't seem like a... How do I say? It doesn't seem like it has enough, like, sugar or anything in it to... To not just taste like you're drinking a bottle of vodka or something. What's this? Is this? Oh, 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 oh! Is this where? No, that's not where those metal balls go. But here's the metal ball we can do. Mainly, I just like- I love trying new foods. I like to find a fruit I've never heard of, or a drink I've never tried before, or... Yeah, can you find me? Some recipe I've never heard of and cook it. I love it. I think it's fun. Howard, do you really not like any fruit? You don't drink alcohol, so you can't say, but you're pretty sure it's low alcohol. Oh, okay, then it might taste good. I wanna try it. I don't drink much since I got sick, but I drink occasionally. But I mostly drink, like, pretty low alcohol stuff, so I don't think that <laughs> if it tastes really strong, I probably not gonna- probably wouldn't like it. Just what made me not want to try it before. Or not not want to try it, it's just that I don't want to buy, like, a 12-pack of something I'm not gonna drink. Oh, a rock cutie! A normal one! What's that? Oh, <laughs> it scared me so much! My dad doesn't really like fruits and vegetables very much, and my mom is more like me, where she's like, Ooh, yum! <laughs> it's fruit for dessert! And he's like, ugh, it's not a dessert. <laughs> Brownies are a dessert, fruit is not dessert. <laughs> my poor dad. He wants, like, cookies, and my mom's like, look, we're having watermelon. <laughs> Every morning you somehow get a scar on on your random on a random arm. Hmm. Do you have a dog or a cat that sleeps with you maybe? I bet it goes in the center. Yeah. Yeah, you found me. Papa? That's strange, Power. You should tell your mom. Do you think maybe you're scratching in your sleep? I'm a very restless sleeper. I wake up with random stuff sometimes, too. And I feel bad for my dog. <laughs> Some mornings she doesn't want to wake up, and I think it's my fault because I... I used to sleepwalk a lot as a kid, and I think I still do. And I'm very- I'm like a very- I am no fun to share a bed with, because I toss and turn like crazy and... ...talk in my sleep and mumble and... ...can't stay still. You sleep talk? My brother sleep talks too. And I think his is more frustrating than mine, because I've been told I just will mumble nonsense. And maybe like a, a real word here and there, but mostly just like... Blah, blah, blah. When my brother will go to sleep and he'll carry on a full conversation with you. And if you don't know what he's talking about because he's asleep and it doesn't make sense, he gets like really mad at you. 
and he'll like yell at you in his sleep because you don't understand what he's talking about. The last time I spent the night with him, we we stayed in a hotel together. And I, he was asleep and I was watching TV and I didn't realize he fell asleep yet. And so he started talking about donuts. He's going to go get donuts. It's just like one in the morning. We're not going to go anywhere for donuts. And he's still talking about donuts. So I'm like, wait, what now? He's still talking about donuts. Like, you wait, you want, where are you going to get donuts? And he's like getting in with me in a big very big brother way this is like yelling at me about donuts and I'm like are you asleep <laughs> I'm all mad at him like stop yelling at me in your sleep it's not my fault I don't I'm not there in your dream with your donuts crazy boy it's pretty funny he's a goober oh I bet this is the third Leviathan where is its head that's what they said they wanted to see <laughs> and then, of course, my brother, when he wakes up, then he thinks it's so funny that he was yelling at me all night. So, so typical of a brother-sister relationship, I think. Drive each other crazy, but we still love each other. Hmm. Oh, what's down here? You're an only child? Ah, oh, that can definitely have its perks, too. Is it a cork? Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye, you found me! Yeah. Bye bye! Goodbye! <laughs> My brother and I didn't get along at all when we were children. Both of us probably wished we were only children. But we get along fine as adults. I think that's pretty typical though. Oh, excuse me. Speaking of caffeine, maybe I should have had some today. It's lonely, I'm sorry to hear that. exactly what to do about this because that guy said he only wants to see the head of the thing and I don't see a head I just see bones well I mean the head would be bones also but I don't I just see like a rib cage mm. and this I might I'm not definitely overthinking this but this looks like the lower half of the rib cage that looks like the upper part, so I would assume the head would be over there. Maybe it's up on this cliff, like maybe it's supposed to look like it slid down? Maybe we should go up there and see if we see a head. Uh, you've got three siblings, two sisters and a brother, and you can't say you get along with your sisters too well? I'm sorry to hear that too, Golem. Hopefully it will change as you guys age. I think it took me and my brother until... Mm, he's three and a half years older than me, and I think it took until I was like... 17 or 18 before we started getting along, and it still took a little while before we really got along. And we still drive each other crazy, but... Just not like... We hate each other anymore. Alright, do we see a skull anywhere? Ooh, it's really beautiful! Wait, are we that far up on the map? No way! <laughs> this area is quite small! You have quite a big family, Golem!
Here's another Korok, let's go do it. I'm really lucky I didn't take fall damage from that. Wait, did we do this one already? Nah. Where's a rock? Oh, excuse me. Uh, you don't go as far as hating, you're just easily prone to getting into arguments. Yeah, I could relate to that. I think me and my brother are still prone to easily getting into arguments, even though we get along now. We have pretty different personalities. Hmm. Where is a rock? Maybe there's one down here. Ooh, some hot peppers. You're an extrovert? I'm pretty introverted. My brother is very extroverted. <laughs> There it is. He's very much a people person, and I... Not that I dislike people, but I do much better with small groups of like six or less people. Yeah, yeah. me. Bye bye. Goodbye. Being extroverted should help you make lots of friends, Power. It's easier to talk to people? <laughs> you will not shut up in conversation. <laughs> I have trouble shutting up if you get me talking about something I'm excited about. Yeah, the same way. I want to find this skull. I hear them still trying to shoot me. It's not a leviathan? Okay, thank you for telling me. Just set dressing, I guess. Because I thought they said that one was down in the southwest, and like technically we are southwest of where I saw those researchers, but we're not as far south. I think they said it was in the Gerudo Desert, and I do not think that's where we're at right now. I think that's in the far southwest corner of the map. Ooh, I missed. Oh, too short. There we go. Oh man, almost. Have I heard of Bionicle? I've heard of it, but I've never played it. It's a Lego property, right? Uh oh, <laughs> whoops. Is it a, a video game, right? Ooh. I can't believe you missed that shot. 
And I can't believe you guys can't get up here. What are you doing? They just left? Did they forget about me? <laughs> that works for me. Oh, they're tired. Like, fine, if you're not gonna come down, we're going to bed. I missed. Alright, uh, let's get a faster weapon and go fight. Uh, it has games, but it's mainly toys. Do you play them a lot? Alright, this is probably a bad idea. a little bit let's have you know what let's eat some of this cold food I really don't think we need it right now you don't have the games but you're a toy collector is that the only kind of toys you collect or do you collect other stuff too get up Link, get up <laughs> collect rocks and books which I think is a little bit weird but that's what I like you collect Pokemon cards seems like Pokemon cards have become really popular again lately or maybe they never stopped eat some more food. Did I eat all that cold stuff? I think so. Let's have... Ooh, I'm gonna have to do some more cooking pretty soon. Maybe I just eat some fruit, because all this food is pretty good. Uh, we can eat some eggs. It's probably a waste, but that's fine. Wait a minute, I got turned around. I was trying to go over here and look at these bows and stuff. Pick up arrows. Alright, let's see what we got. A falcon bow. I think I've had one of those before. A highly refined Rito bow. Rito made bow created by a master Rito craftsman. Rito warriors favor it for its superior rate of fire, which helps them excel even further at aerial combat. Um, should we take it? Mm, we can take it instead of this one. I like the durable weapons. Those are probably my favorites. Alright, let's get this luminous stone. And we'll continue exploring this more flatland area. check my map so I think I want to go oh wait we're like right up where we were where we were before uh this looks like Korox and it doesn't really look like I've gotten it so let's see if we can go over here and look at this one 
And then... My goodness, this area must be much smaller than I thought it was. Um, before we go down there, let's climb this, though. See if we're miss missing anything. So, I like gardening a lot. And I have a bunch of plants and planters on my patio. And I have this very bad habit where... I like gardening a lot, but I'm not a really good gardener. I'm not a really bad gardener, but I'm also not like a great one. And I don't always know what I'm doing. And so... Yeah. Yeah, hi, you found me! So, because I garden in pots, because I don't have like a yard or dirt to put things in, I will plant seeds, and if nothing comes up, then I just assume those seeds didn't work. And I'll plant something else. And so I planted some spinach and it was good and it grew and it was delicious and I ate it and I'm leaving it in there so it will go to seed and give me more seeds. And I went out there the other day. No, sorry. I went out there a few weeks ago and there was like a vine growing out. And I'm like, hmm, I didn't, don't remember planting that. But I also usually let, like, if I see unusual things growing, I'll usually let them grow to see what they are. And because I do my gardening that terrible way, I frequently will have stuff that, like, didn't germinate, and then it grows later. And so, I now have... I did a really bad job telling this story because I'm so distracted, but point is, I thought I had a cucumber plant growing, but I actually have a watermelon growing. It's so exciting! I just saw this little fruit starting up and it looked like a- it looked just like a cucumber. The leaves look like a cucumber, the flowers look like a cucumber. And then I looked it up today and I'm pretty sure it's a watermelon. It's like the size of a lime, it's so cute. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that's not gonna work? Oh, it needs two rocks. Hmm. Is there another one around? Here's one. So hopefully it will grow and the birds don't eat it and it doesn't get too hot because I live in the desert and I'll actually get to eat a homegrown watermelon. Okay. There's another one missing? No way. Where? There's three missing. Ow. Oh. Hmm. Where's there another rock? I wanted to. Be There's one. I wanted to be out of the snow. There we go. Yeah, hi, you found me! Bye-bye! Wow, really found- finding a lot of Koroks today. This is awesome. I actually think we have enough to go see Hestu and get that. I think I could get one more weapon slot, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get out of this stinking snow. Okay, let's put our sneaky shirt back on. Let me check the map one more time. Where did I want to go? I said I want to go down here. And did we see this already? Must have, because we got a shrine. Oh no, we did see this, but we didn't look at it because it wasn't on the map. So actually, we do need to go up here. Let me see, how do I want to go about this? I kind of looked at this side. Um... I suppose we could go up here. And look at this, and then work our way back down this way. Uh, 
I feel like I'm gonna lose my spot though. I might teleport back down here and do this little highlands area. South to north seems to be treating me pretty well. Welcome back. You didn't miss much. I was just trying to decide where I want to go. So if you don't like to eat fruit power, what kind of stuff do you like to eat? Oh, the music is so good. Alright. So now we're back here. Let's go up in these highlands. See what we can find. We can grab this mushroom. I don't think we need it. I think we have a ton of these, but we could grab it anyways. Maybe I should put my climbing clothes on? I don't know. It doesn't seem that high. Oh, look! There are so many corks over here. This is awesome. And wolves. One, two... Three. Oh, stop it. Four. Oops. Uh, pizza, strawberries, big red, and money. You eat money? Yeah, you found me. Bye. -bye. Goodbye. Pizza's good. What kind of pizza do you like? No, you like money. <laughs> I made pizza for breakfast. There's then raw again. Not sure if it's worth it to shoot a scale or something off of him. Oh. Also, not sure if we could get one. Eh, it's kind of far. We'll worry about it later. Cheese? I like cheese pizza too, that's what I made for breakfast. A, a big salad in there that I've been- I made like- I made like a big salad and then just put dressing on it when I'm ready to eat it in little portions. So I like a really big salad, and it's very good, but I just hate eating salad for breakfast. I'm not sure why, but it just doesn't seem like a good breakfast food to me. So I made a pizza instead, which I guess people maybe would say is also not a breakfast food, but it works for me. And I'll have salad for lunch. You had moon pie for breakfast? How was that? Don't blow the horn! No, 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 no! Dang it! Just okay? Uh, let's use this up. And then let's try like... Maybe we can use this one a little bit. I'm gonna jump right off the mountain. Your weapon. Can't carry that. Oh, it's really hard to see stuff in the grass. Mm. 
Let's use... Maybe this one. I like the swords a lot. Alright, I think we just have one archer left. Did we do it? What's that? Oh, it's ruins. <laughs> Take what? Oh, is there an arrow? I'll take that. How many arrows do I have? 130? That's not too bad. This one seems taller than previous ones we've climbed. Oh, hello there. Did you miss the horns? See what we get. Another falcon bow. Maybe we will leave that one. Go free, Nido. What does that mean? Can use this. It's such <laughs> poor quality. Uh, these little trees make me think maybe there's something over there. <laughs> the big thing in the sky. Oh yeah, I'll do it, but it's it's definitely not gonna happen this stream. I'm gonna go look and explore this area and then we'll go do it. Today I'm pretty sure we're just gonna keep doing this. Just run around and see what I can find. Ooh, is that a new one? Nope, winter wing. This is one of my favorite parts of this game is the exploration. It feels so epic. hills make it hard for me to know if I've been everywhere but let's try to do these higher elevations first oh you know what Sneak for a speedy potion oh yes 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 wonderful feels so good to not be in the snow Alright, so I'm expecting a big fight or a challenge or something in here. Ancient columns. You're bored. Sorry! <laughs> Do you have any games or anything you can play? Alright, there's a fight, there's a fight. There's something back there, I think a shrine? And there's a cork thing over there. Should we try to glide to that, maybe? Oh, probably it's gonna be up there where I just was, yep. Alright, here we go. Let's go do some fighting. This place looks really cool. Let's fight around and explore. 
There we go. Much better. Pretty sure the forked boomerang is gonna be a terrible weapon, too. Oh, is this how you get to bantha wheat? Oh, look, frogs. We need those. Yep, there's the wheat. Where's that other frog? Come here. I think we need like 15 or 20 frogs or something. Come here. <laughs> this is like a weird place to find a bunch of frogs. Another one, where is it? Here comes a wolf, like, stop chopping down all my grass! I should come back here off stream and harvest frogs. I'm just not sure if I'll remember that. Oops! This is the place to go. Alright, what's down here? Anything? I very much expect to find something over here. I don't know what, but something. Here's a cork thing we can do. Yeah. Oh, hi, you saw me! Bye bye! Goodbye! 54, hey, we can sing now. I wonder if there's something on top of this one, since they're leaning together. And then we'll go do the shrine. Oops. I'm really surprised there wasn't like a Hinox or something up here. So beautiful over there. This three columns in a row, maybe there's something up here? Should use these bad weapons up on these guys. Aurelia couldn't hear my call. When did I call Aurelia? <laughs> I don't think I did call her. Can I do that with this thing? The roof protection is now ready to roll. Hmm, anything up here? Let's go look on top of these three columns too, just because they stick out as completed and upright ones. Hmm. 
Makes me wonder if there's something on one of them. Or maybe they're just decoration, who knows? Nope, nothing. Okay, I'm really surprised there were not more monsters over here. It just seems so much like the kind of place where you'd find a, either a big monster or... Whoa, what's that? <gasps> a memory? Okay, I'll shut up. Nothing, just as I thought. Hmm. It appears that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. But designs can always be worked around, at least I hope. How do I get inside? I need to activate it somehow. I thought I made it clear that I'm not in need of an escort. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. I, the person in question, am fine, regardless of the King's orders. Return to the castle and tell that to my father, please. And stop following me! Hmm. That was a good memory. So they had a somewhat contentious relationship to begin with. Ah, I got a puppy coming after me. This paints a fascinating picture of Zelda from what I've seen so far. Tenakosa Shrine. Hey, Fleur. How you doing today? Nice to see you again. doing good just hanging out playing Zelda <laughs> same as always but good I'm in a good mood a little bit tired but feeling happy uh, you saw my YouTube that the episodes are not in order <laughs> yeah they're not. The reason is that my computer kept giving me messages that it was full, and uh-oh, we got a fight. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Tena Kosa. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial by combat. So my computer would say it was full, but my internet is just atrociously bad, so it takes like 20 18 to 24 hours to upload a stream that's like an hour long which is terrible but these ones that are like three to four hours long or two and a half it takes like 24 to 36 hours to upload them so if i start the upload then i can't stream the following day and i want to stream like every day so i have to like take skip days because if i can't stream and upload at the same time because my internet is so bad it will drop so many frames that it's just like not even like it's choppy, it's literally unwatchable. Like, I tried it one time and it recorded about 50 minutes of a three hour stream. So, yeah, I was uploading all the smallest ones first so I could still stream the following day. And now I'm out of those, so I'm gonna have to do skip days in order to get them up. But I'm making some progress on it at least. The playlist should be in order. If you see the playlist and it's not in order, I didn't notice, please let me know because I'll go fix it. But if you just look at the videos, yeah, they're they're definitely not uploaded in order. Wait, this is the wrong armor. This one. Look at these and 
it is weird it takes so long to upload. It's, um, what I was talking to my friend Boshi, and he helped me change some settings on my Streamlabs recording, so I'm doing it right now. So tell me if you notice a difference if it looks worse. Right now, um, that should hopefully make the recording smaller, and hopefully they'll upload a little faster that way. Let's start with this one. Actually, let's start with this one. And maybe the ancient bow? Where's it at? Nothing looks bad at the moment. Okay, thank you for letting me know. I was really concerned about it when we tested it out. It was really choppy. But hopefully, hopefully, then I'll only have like... 15 or 16 really long ones to upload and then hopefully these will work better and I can do it a little easier Ooh, golly. Oh it broke let's get another one Let's use just a sword Pretty good hit. Those are very, very strong. They are, but they're a lot less scary than they used to be. Some more skills are less scary, dude, for sure. <laughs> when I tried to fight the first one of these, I was like, well, I guess that's it for Link. I'm not gonna survive this. With these better weapons, they don't take much time at all. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> What a difference it makes. Alright, cool. And we got another ancient core we can work on. Up upgrading that armor. Let's drop... Maybe this wooden shield? Alright, let's see what we got. A knight's halberd. I might just leave that. Let me see what I've got. Because I don't... Eh... We could trade it for one of these, but I think I'll just leave it. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Maybe it's a good thing Zelda couldn't get in here, because I think that thing might have wrecked her. Although Zelda has magic powers in most of the games, so she'd probably be fine. And I'm, I think she's so proficient in every game. May the Goddess smile upon you. She's probably right. She doesn't need an escort. <laughs> Zelda needs no one, right? Girl power. She's got it. <laughs> I really like that. I really liked her in Wind Waker. Where you find out who she is. I don't want to give any spoilers, but... I feel like it was pretty obvious from the beginning, but I really liked it a lot. I like that costume she was just wearing in this cutscene. 
All right, so let's see. We've seen this part. Maybe what's this? Oh, it's a windmill, I bet. Mm, I'm thinking... I don't know if I looked at this part right here. Um, let me see. You think you know who she was in Wind Waker? Yeah, I love that outfit she had too. Didn't- wasn't it you that said you hadn't played Wind Waker yet? There might have been someone else. Sorry, I have a terrible memory. It's hard for me to keep it straight. Yeah, you haven't played it. Then I'm glad I didn't give any spy. I don't think I really gave any spoilers. I'm pretty sure anyone who saw that character would assume. <laughs> assume it. Man, I love that game. Take this stuff over here. I'm trying to collect some frogs on the way because I need them to upgrade an armor. Alright, so... What's that? Oh, it's just a rock. <laughs> then I saw something shining over there. Alright, I wanna go over here because I'm... I think I went over here, but I want to just make extra sure. Look at that big crater down there. Uh, I guess maybe I did come over here. Alright, well... Then... Let's go look down here. Oh, is this where those... Yep. This area is so small. I'm really surprised at how small this area of the map is. I was going up here and I figured I would be like here on the map and I was like all the way up here. And look at that, like just explored this area and that's it, we're basically done. It's crazy. Alright, well... I don't really want to fight these dudes, I do want to go up on top of those things, so maybe we'll glide down to them. And I guess I don't need to wear this guardian armor right now. But I'll change it after I fight these keys. Let's put our sneaky clothes back on, my old favorites. Flora, which armor set do you wear the most when you play this game? I'm curious what other people choose to wear most of the time. Let's drink a stamina potion. So we can jump some more. Uh, you really like the Gerudo outfit? I haven't gotten that one yet. Sneaky is definitely my favorite, and I feel a little sheepish about it all the time because when I got it, I'm like, this is dumb. <laughs> I don't need to sneak, I got potions for that. But I always default to it. It's so easy to catch bugs and fish and stuff and run around unnoticed. What's that? I should really get the Gerudo outfit. I definitely will whenever I get the chance. Oops, I need a weapon. That's one thing I was saying earlier in this stream, like, whoa, what was that? I think game messed up just a little bit. One thing I definitely do want to 100% complete as much as I can in this game is to try to get all of the outfits. Because I think they're very cool, I love seeing the designs, and... Oof! See if I can get these before this guy spots me. A silver rupee? I'm hoping for something better than that. 
And basically, I just want to, I guess. That's <laughs> my so thought. Oh, meteor rod. That's not that great. You don't want to spoil anything, but there's one particular outfit you like. Okay. Thanks for not spoiling it for me. I really appreciate you doing that. Maybe this is where the good stuff is? Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, it is nice to go into the game blind. Just an opal, what? Hmm. Well, all right. I guess that's all we get. Let's take a speedy potion. I got uh, one piece of barbarian leg wraps, which makes me think I must have missed some stuff in that other area. And then I got these two pieces of rubber armor, which I must have missed that somewhere in the jungle. I don't know how, but I guess I did. And I was saying earlier in the stream that like, if I get most of this map cleared and feel like I'm making progress towards end game state, I will probably cheat and go on Google and put those things up to where they're at because I do want the full sets. But I still feel like, eh, there's a chance that piece of armor might be in a different area. It hasn't happened yet to my knowledge, but there's no reason it couldn't. So I'm just kind of waiting to see. And then I'll I'll backtrack, and that'll give me a little more gameplay too, because I have a feeling whenever this game is about to end, I'm not gonna want it to. Let's make sure there's nothing up here. You wouldn't. Yeah, it's huge. For some of this stuff, I don't feel bad cheating at all. There. Oh look, here's one. There are a few like. For most of the stuff, I'd much rather struggle through and, whoops, just try to solve it myself. But there's, there have been a few times already where there's a point where I'm like, eh, there's no reason to keep doing this. I'm just gonna look at this because it's a big waste of time otherwise. Like that one island I was on for so long is it just had one dead tree and I'm like, Zelda game wouldn't just put a dead tree if it didn't mean something. <laughs> I tried everything I could think of, and then when I looked it up, it's like, nah, it's just a tree. It's, that's all it is, it's just a tree. Um, I'll show you it on the map in just a second. I hope this works, I think I hit it too hard. You found me! I'll show you which island it is, and for this specific instance, if you do know that there's a secret on there, let me know, because I won't do it right now, but I will go back and try to figure out what it is, because it's driving me crazy. This island right here. Mekar Island. There's just a tree and a campfire and one rock that you can move, like where the Koroks appear under sometimes. And then when I first went down, a bunch of... Choo Choo's appeared, and I fought most of them, and then when I got up to fight the last one, it sunk back into the ground. And then a bunch of skeleton monsters popped up, and I fought those, and then a lightning storm stopped, so I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to put the fire out? Am I supposed to light the fire? Am I supposed to get the tree struck by lightning? Is there, like, something to explode? Like, there's gotta be... It's so... It's just so... So Zelda to put a little island with one tree on it to be like, hey, player, you should go over here because there's a secret for you. And it's hard for me to believe that there's nothing there. That's what the internet said. And oh, it was just a reference to the older games. Okay. Yeah, I was, I mean, I, I probably spent like an hour over there just like messing around trying to figure out that at that point i thought like eh, if i was just playing it by myself i would probably do it for a little bit longer before looking it up but because i'm streaming it i don't want to be like too boring 
I don't mind being a little boring with my intense exploration because I'm sure there are some other weirdos in the world that, like me that enjoy that. But I just don't think it would be that much fun to watch someone struggle for too, too long with an island with a tree on it. <laughs> Hello, rock cuties. Alright, well, I, I was already over here, so I guess we'll go look over here. This is crazy. We may have... <laughs> we might have this whole area explored in this stream if I keep going for another hour. I don't know if there's been any area of the map that I've done in one stream. <laughs> there were a couple other things in the game like that too where I was like, uh, this is not good. This is not good entertainment for a streams. I've been working on it too long, so I'm gonna stop. Oh, there was a one shrine I could not beat, and so I left. Which I, maybe I'll go back and do it, but maybe not. Oh, sorry, I was just admiring the flower. I'm the monster here. <laughs> this is the one up in. It was either in the Goron area or the snowy area. And you see if you can find anything about the island. Right? And if it was just a random island in there, just land, then sure, maybe, but with a tree and a campfire and a stone. Like it seems like there has to be something. It's just so very it's so very much like a Zelda game thing to do, to be like, here's all the clues you need to know that you need to come over here and figure out what the secret is. And I, it's probably easier than you, Ponderook, think it is. You always overthink these puzzles. There's definitely something here. There's a... I tried lighting fires all the way around it. There are like dead trees all around. <laughs> that didn't work, and so I tried when the lightning storm came, so I went twice and a lightning storm came shortly after I was there both times. So I'm like, oh, well maybe you need to get the tree struck by lightning. So I tried throwing a weapon into the tree, but it wouldn't stick in the tree. So then I tried picking one up and dropping it in the tree and that didn't work. And I tried swimming around the base to see if there was something I could blow up with a bomb or an arrow and that didn't work. And then I thought like, well, maybe you have to kill all the enemies because that's a Zelda thing sometimes. That didn't work. <laughs> Just totally stumped. Like, all right, I looked it up. It said there's nothing. We're gonna move on. So I don't want this to be like a 50 part, 50 part Zelda stream of me messing with one tree on an island, and nothing else. This is going to be a hard fight for me, I think. Woo! Get up! Get up! Oh. Oof, I shouldn't let these guys gang up on me. Oh, 
Oh, I don't even have a weapon equipped. Let's do... What should we use? Um... Thunderblade, but probably should save that for... And I've had it for a long time. It's only, what, 24? Oops, that's not the right thing. Oh, thank you, Mifa. I'm sorry I'm not careful. so hard. There. Now I got you. Oh, I broke it. Okay, let's get something else. Let's use maybe one of these. Oh, dear. Let's actually change that weapon, because I don't want all the stuff to burn up. Wow, I'm really going through a lot fighting these dudes. Maybe... Eh... I guess I could use a Master Sword. was a hard fight. My goodness. A swallow bow. That's a new one. Nine. This bow is a favorite among Rito warriors. <laughs> the bowstring has been specially engineered for aerial combat, which allows it to be drawn faster than a normal bow. Mm, that's nice. You know more about Mekar Island? Can you tell me? I do want to know. Even if it's... As long as it's not like late game spoilers. If it's just about how to solve it, I definitely want to know. There's not really anything you can do, it's just a reference to Wind Waker, seriously? <laughs> I wonder if other people have also spent a lot of time there trying to figure out the secret. A uh, royal claymore? That's a really good claymore. Uh, maybe I should take it. Maybe I should take it instead of this fire rod. so surprised. I really thought you would come back and be like, oh, okay, so there is a secret. But not too many websites <laughs> had the information. <laughs> Alright, so we got that fight. Let's go up here. Again. It's this one. Uh, their video is titled The Mystery of Mecker Island and everyone is confused. <laughs> Maybe it was supposed to have something and they didn't end up coding it in. <laughs> or maybe it has something in the DLC but not in the main game? That could... maybe? I don't know. <laughs> or maybe the developers just messing with us. They're like... Maybe they go look at all those videos and laugh. Like a prank. Ha 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 ha. We got them. We made everybody hang out over here for an hour. Since the bone mo mobs you fight are unique from the ones you normally see. Huh, I didn't notice. But I'm not very observant about that kind of stuff either.
Uh, maybe we should check with this fairy and see if I have enough frogs. When you go stand on that tree, it generates a strong wind. Yeah, I noticed that, but it blows back towards the main. It doesn't blow... I tried riding the wind to wherever it went, but... I don't know. So, you have some clothing you wish to enhance, and the necessary materials? Mm. Why don't you let me take a look? The power available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. Nice. Wait, I got enough stuff to do it again? Might as well. Mm. Uh. I did play Wind Waker, yeah. I loved it, it was like my favorite game. It's probably my second favorite game, all-time video game. Oops. Yes, please. In Wind Waker, you had Makar, which is a wind sage. This is why his name. Huh. I. I guess that makes sense, but I'm still surprised there's no secret. Hmm. Uh, like the wind... I would expect like the wind to blow you to a chest or something and have a... I don't know... <laughs> a, a wand or something in it. Uh, oh my... Do you have any other clothes I can enhance right now? I don't have enough frogs. Oh man. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Oops. Mm, a lot of people think the dead tree is my car. Oh, maybe. I think these people remember their Zelda lore a lot better than I do. Thanks for looking it up, that's fun. Good to know. And it makes me feel better that I'm not the only one who's trying so hard to find something. Uh, most of it's just speculation, <laughs> there's not really anything else. <laughs> Somebody should ask at a convention if there's an interview with anybody who worked on this game. It's the only thing I can remember that I've seen that really seemed like there should be some kind of puzzle and there was just nothing. Whoa, I could grab this bird right out of the sky. Look at that. That's crazy. Sorry, bird. Hmm, I wonder if there will be anything up here. A lot of people think the developers were just like, haha, cruel joke. That's kind of what I'm thinking, too. Like, I know how to drive people absolutely wild. It just seems too perfectly like a Zelda puzzle to not be intentional. I'm really surprised how many Koroks there are in this area. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah hi! Found me! Bye bye! Goodbye! Do I know how many there are in total? Uh, how many what? The answer is probably no. The number of quarks, no. How many are there? How many have I found? Does it tell me? Uh... Yeah, it's, uh, how many are there? You can tell me. I bet it's a lot. Let me guess. I bet it's probably 1,500. Oh, 900? <laughs> That's a lot. I was way over, though. I 
definitely not trying to 100% the Korox unless there's some really good reason why I have to. Uh, I think it's a nice feature that they... I also agree that it's a really good way to do inventory expansion. It creates limits on how quickly you can do the game, and it's not... It doesn't feel too frustrating. Instead, it feels exciting when you find one. And all the opportunities for little mini puzzles is so cool. I like it a lot. It's very clever. There's another wolf. I think I came up here already, too. Nope, I guess not. Oh, that's such a beautiful scene with the ski seagulls flying by. Alright. Oh. I said I'm gonna go sing it makes you want to play so you're gonna go play <laughs> thank you have fun with your game I hope you make good progress and thanks for stopping by it's always nice to chat So, let's look at this area right here, and then I think we've got this one explored. We can go look at Nero Hill, check out this area here, and crazy, but <laughs> we're getting pretty close to finishing this area. Um, we're not going to fight the Divine Beast today. I can say that for absolute, absolutely certain. Because it's just too much. I'm already two hours and about 20 minutes in, and I'm getting pretty tired. Oh, we were already down here. So we're going to aim for exploring a little bit more of this area. We might not do the whole area. And then the next stream, we'll explore whatever's left and then maybe fight the the divine beast we'll see i'm kind of avoiding the towns right now because my voice sounds kind of like garbage and i would rather do them what is this whoa look at those cool things i would rather do them when i have a stronger voice so i can do just for all the characters all right so that is another area we need to go this way I have a feeling I'm probably missing a lot of stuff in this area because...